Good morning. Mm. Good morning, guys. It's April 13th. It's 4.18 in the morning. I slept great last night, but... I need to go to the bathroom, but I'll come back and... Okay, go back to sleep, which sucks, because we have an Easter egg hunt today at church for our kids. And everything, and if the weather's not too bad, which we're supposed to get some storms today. If the weather's not too bad, I've got a date again with Johnny. And yes, I did say his name, but... Uh, I'm tired. I don't know what the deal is with this. I just want some more sleep. Restful sleep. I was supposed to have a sleep study done at the end of last month. I had to reschedule it because I didn't have both gas. And, uh, they, well, the state they have was for June, so, um, I guess I'll see how this day goes on. Hey guys, it's, uh, about 10 something, I'm getting, I'm done getting ready to go to church for our Easter egg hunt, which it's raining, we got more storms coming in, so we're doing it inside, but I've had this whole I went whole 70s today. Green eyeshadow, green skirt, boots. Yeah, literally. Um, I'm just waiting for my ride to get here and then I'm gonna head out. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey guys, excuse the cross eyes and everything. Um, and if it looks like I'm not really moving my mouth that much, that's because I've got a face mask on. And not a sheet mask, an actual pill off mask. And this is one of them that hurts, but it's worth it in the end. Cause then my baby, my face feels like a baby's butt. Um, we had a great time at church for Easter egg hunt. Most of our kids, I'd say maybe, I don't know. I don't know. We didn't have very many kids show up and we had some new ones show up. Which is great, but we didn't have that many show up for the Easter egg hunt. Which meant the little ones and the first through fourth graders got to get a lot of eggs. Which means a lot of candy. And uh, this year we had prizes for each group. Um, we had for K through first and second through third and the fourth through sixth. Which we didn't have any over the fourth grade there today. So, and they had fun. We had corn dogs and everything, and everybody was having fits of the way I was dressed. One person actually looked at me and goes, that's a throwback. <laughs> because the way I was dressed, it was like 70s. I just was feeling it today. I had the green eye shadow with the turquoise, more bluish green turquoise shimmer. You know, it was real pretty with my velvet teddy MAC lipstick. I still haven't worn Sin yet, but I will eventually. Mm. But, um, tomorrow's Mama's birthday. And I'm gonna bring y'all in close because I gotta whisper Mama don't know. Um, my sister and her husband are coming tomorrow. Mama doesn't know they're coming. And, um, my sister's made my mama a real pretty cake with the 
this beautiful weave wings on them. And uh, they finally fixed her prayer stand and redecorated it and everything, put, you know, new material over the cushions. And I was going to love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, there was something. for me <laughs> for this long <laughs> so um I love you mama I don't know what I'd do without you and you just don't know how precious you are to us and you mean the world to us yeah we've had our differences we've all had our differences but if it wasn't for you and daddy we wouldn't be here and I wish Bubba and Mikey could be here to celebrate it with us. And I know Terminal Tuesday is the anniversary of Daddy's death. But I just want you to know, Mama, we love you so much. And we want the best for you. Love you. Anyway. <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna get off of here. It should be. I still got a few spots that are a little tacky that need to. Like, you can already tell it's already coming off my nose and not around my lip and up here. So, I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer. I'm gonna peel it off and then I'm gonna moisturize. I'm already in my comfy bed clothes. I mean, it's warm. I mean, it's cool outside, but it's warm enough in here. Really, Miss Powder Poof, why are you licking my arm so much? Powder. Are them hormones going crazy? Huh? Are them hormones going crazy? Huh? Is the predator hormones just taking over? <laughs> Too much. Crazy girl. Y'all, her, her, her little teats are dropping. So, I'm taking it as a sign. That she is, uh, preggers. Her little belly's starting to get hard. So, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on her, though, because, I mean, she's eight. And she's never done that. So, this will be her first litter. And then, with her age, we're gonna have to watch her. Keep a close eye on her. And help her with the babies when they come. Which, Bubba, when they come, I don't care if it's in the middle of the night, I'm calling you. So... Which I doubt he still watches my videos anyway. But if he does, he, he'll make it a point to say something smart to me. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Let this finish setting. Peel it off. Moisturize. And just curl up. Because what I was about to say before powder start. I'm already in my comfort clothes that my sister gave me. It's warm enough inside that I can wear it. It's just this. It's actually an exercise outfit. But it's a tank top with some shorts. So, I'm ready for, almost completely ready for bed. I will see y'all in the morning. Good night. Okay, guys, today was supposed to be a day of celebration because it's Mama's birthday, but we had a tornado hit us last night. At what time, Mama? Uh, I'm saying between 11, 30, 12, something like that. Yeah, close to midnight. And uh, we had, so far, we know of, we have five deaths. And uh, they're using our local gas station as a... Uh, Base. Area, a base for right now and uh I'm about ready to head to church waiting for everybody to get there we're going to see if there's something we can't do to help and uh please pray for Hamilton Mississippi because the families can they really need it right now afternoon guys um I 
forgot to say this morning, today is April 14th, Mama's birthday, but, uh, <sighs> we had some casualties last night here in Hamilton from the tornado. Um, as far as we know of, there's at least one or two. Originally, we heard five, then just one, and now I think there's two. Um, a young couple are in the ICU. Well, one's in the hospital, and the other one's in ICU with a broken neck and a broken back. But their children are okay. Oh, there's so many homes and places just completely gone, destroyed. I mean, our own, our fire department is destroyed. A lot of families' homes is gone. Um, so, we organized at my church this morning. And we fed like a hundred and something people. It was a lot of people. We fed a lot, a lot of people. And I'm really tired. Um, as of right now, you know, we had, um, that was us feeding them. Another church. And then at our community center here, we had a little diner, a little restaurant from Smart Smithful. Who come and serve food. And was bringing food to us to serve too. And this is why I love my little hometown of Hamilton, Mississippi. Our community came together as one today and did everything that we could in our power, no matter whichever way it was, to help and to be there for everybody in our community. And this is the best little town in the state of Mississippi as far as I'm concerned. And my prayers go out to all the tornado victims. We got lucky. We wasn't hit um, on our where we're at in Hamilton. And, you know, we got some wind damage, but not a whole lot. We got trees down, um, powers out in a lot of places. Um, it's just, I feel so bad for the families that have lost everything. And those who have lost their lives to this. But the thing is, is Mississippi was not the only place hit. Texas was hit. And a few other places. And there was some other towns. Starkville was hit here in Mississippi, which is where my oldest niece lives. And it was close to her house. But they were fine. Their home was okay. Thank the good Lord. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I've never in my life seen people come together like they did today. And it's amazing. And the Lord has blessed this little town. Our little country town, which is my hometown. And always will be. For this reason. There's a lot of love here. And God was watching over a lot of people last night. A lot of people. Because a lot, a lot of people lost their homes. And we only had two fatalities. I mean, it would have been better if we had no fatalities. But there could have been more. And it could have been a lot, lot, lot worse. Um, as of right now, they are still taking volunteers. Um... If they're down there tomorrow, which I'm tired from being at church all day, if uh, there's, I'm gonna go down there tomorrow and I'm gonna volunteer, see what I can do. And uh, I think they are starting to take donations, um, donations of clothes and stuff like that, because we do have a lot of people that, like I said, lost their homes and then they need clothes, children's clothes, adult clothes. Now, as for donations of money, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't ever remember Hamilton being hit with a tornado. And I've lived here for a long time. Um, well, off and on for over 20 years. But straight on, I've been in Hamilton for many years now. Um, but I did find out the day the last one that hit us was nine years ago. Which, I don't remember that. I might not have been in Hamilton at that time, but I think I was nine years ago. I was 20, 
one. Yeah, I was here, but I just, I don't remember that, but there wasn't nowhere near as much damage or anything like that last time, apparently. Um, we have volunteers with uh, Red Cross, um, construction companies, roofing companies, um, Goodwill, that have come in and are helping people. And Hamilton is is devastated right now. We're all devastated. So all I ask is y'all please send prayers. Send out a lot of prayers for the victims of this tornado. And um, I'm gonna rest for the rest of the night. Hopefully get some rest, get some sleep. Um. Which I did sleep through it last night. I didn't find out about it until I got up this morning. Um, but I'm going to try and get some rest and get a fresh start in the morning. And see if we can't figure out where to volunteer at and uh, go from there. And if I can, I'll show some clips of what our little town's looking like now. Which is sad. It is. It's so sad. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all in the morning. Oh my lord, a lot of the buildings are just, these seem to be okay, but. Tree fell on a truck. I don't, we're about to come up on our fire department and so it's, it's, it's completely down. gone. Yeah, I'm trying not to film too much of the vehicles or people's actual homes that's still standing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have trees down over here. Our medical There's a barn completely gone. Yep. Our medical clinic, the only clinic we have in Hamilton is got damage. Yeah. No. I'm trying not to get Yeah. It's amazing to see our community come together and yeah, storage units gone. Our fire department. Yeah, our fire department's completely gone. Yeah, I know. I mean just and this isn't the worst roads. We have two other roads that are the worst. Yeah. Home's roof is gone. Man. The thing is, it was so close to our house. Our house is like right up there. Yeah, we got lucky. We got very, very lucky. Hey guys, um, today is April 15th. Um, our church isn't doing anything today as far as I know of. I haven't heard anything, but, um, we are, we just got back. I'm gonna insert some clips uh, that I just took from us going down there. Uh, we went down the road because we had to go to a church, our local, uh, one of our local churches called Abundant Life, to donate some clothes, shoes, and toys. Um, which I'm glad that we held on to. We were holding on to them for a yard sale, but people need them more than we do, and they need it more than we need money, and that's what matters. So if any of you, which I will be putting a statement out today on YouTube. So after, you know, this will come out afterwards. But if any of you outside of Mississippi or Hamilton, Mississippi, if you want to donate any clothes or shoes, blankets, toys, please bring them to Abundant Life Church here in Hamilton, Mississippi. And if you want to donate any food... Or anything like that that's like canned food and stuff or water or anything like that bring it to our local community center here in Hamilton Mississippi um, a lot of families have lost everything and we need everything for these people and I mean we've run into people that were blessed enough that, like one girl we know personally I've known her for years she's my hairdresser whenever I can go she said everybody all her neighbors around her got hit but them so they got very, very lucky. They were very blessed. 
So, um, and there is on Facebook, there is donation funds and everything going on if you want to go on Facebook. If I can find the link, I will put it on you no know, in my video for today's description bar or box, whatever. And you can donate money there and that will go towards the relief and the funds to help the families that have lost everything. So I'm gonna insert the clip here. So as you can see, everything is just destroyed. Our fire department's gone. Um you know, it's just, and then that wasn't even our worst road. Um, we have three or four roads that got hit the worst around here. And God, mind you, we are a little small country community. Um, so it just, when we get hit with stuff like this, it get, it hits hard. And we, they are taking up donations, clothes, food, things like that. And... We have organizations from out of town that have come in and are helping to feed the people and our first responders and our police officers and to feed the people who have suffered from this. So, hey, hey, so we're, hey, 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 hey. So we are a community of blessed people. So, um, what, what, hey, 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 hey. I got other stuff planned for today too, so I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, guys, what I got so far, I got the bed stripped, got that stuff washing i swept my floor i still got some dust in the do definitely yes my trash can's on my dr on my vanity that needs to be cleaned off and everything needs to be dusted so technically this is just first look at it and it's not clean it's not lit up my brother did an amazing job but once i get it cleaned and i'll have the lights on it y'all be able to see it better and i re i done something with my makeup we found a bunch of these little baskets and I made use of it. This is my acrylic stand that I had originally. And uh, it's got my lipsticks, lip liner, chapsticks, lip treatments, eyeliners, mascaras, da da da. Got my foundation, uh, concealers, which this is not a concealer. That doesn't belong in there. And as you can see, I have two concealers. I still have my shape tape, which. I say for special occasions. This is all my primers and setting sprays. And my powders. I got my two bronzers. My setting powders. Highlighters, blushes. Pigments. And stuff. And I got my moisturizers back there. My eyeshadows. And this is all my hair stuff. My perfumes. More hair stuff. There's hair stuff in here, which you can't see. It's got my bobby pins. And stuff like that. And this needs to be cleaned off. And yes, I was trying, attempting to paint the stuff for my model car. Yeah. Everything was black, so the red's not showing up. So I think I'm just going to put it together and that'll be that. I won't buy another one. Oops. Missed a bowl and a coffee cup. But that's basically it right now. Had to get me a new water bottle, which I found at Dollar General, and I love it. I need to clean it because I had some flavored stuff in my water last night. It's cute. Works for me. That's about it. Now I'm about to go uh, bathe the youngins. So, yeah, I'm going to bathe the youngins, and they're not going to be very happy with me. Especially Miss Ma'am because uh, Potty Poof hates taking a bath. Snowball! Snowball! Is him ready for a bath? He, oh, oh, you're so cute. Him's so cute. He is him, he is him a baby boy. Oh, oh, look at that stretch. Look at that stretch. He Miss Powder Poof. He Miss Powder Poof. But yeah, alright, let me get off of here and get the water started. And uh, I'm gonna bathe him first first because he's a lot easier to clean miss thing's got a lot of fur and she don't like it she fights me most of the time did you give me kisses is him give me kisses oh my goodness i love him too so all right let me get off of here good morning everybody it's uh april 16th it's the one year anniversary of my daddy's passing but i'm also up early it's almost seven o'clock um 
we fed people Monday and we're doing it again this morning and the reason I'm up so early is because I have to be at church by 8 to receive some water and food and things like that for us to serve today and uh, uh, I'm still so amazed to see our whole community and all these people from other towns coming in and helping and uh, that's amazing and if you have any clothes or anything you want to donate like personal clothes blankets shoes toys things like that abundant life church here in Hamilton is receiving all that stuff um, and they're also sheltering people which is amazing um, and they have the building to do so and no which is amazing of them and doing God's work and that's what you know we're all trying to be the hands and feet of Jesus since he's not here to help us right now which he's helping us from above but you know with being Christians we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and that's what matters and helping others is what matters and um, there won't be no regular video for today at the end of today this vlog will be the video for today and um, and that's because of all this that's happened with the EF2 tornado that has hit our little small community town um, and destroyed a lot of homes and people lost a lot of stuff people lost every there's people that lost completely everything um, there's a young couple that's blessed their hearts they're in the hospital right now with two little girls there the little girls are okay they have a lot of scratches and bruising and everything but um, the parents are in ICU and the young man has a uh, a broken neck and a broken back and as for the girl the woman I, I'm not too sure about what injury she has but they lost everything so please keep Hamilton Mississippi in your prayers and if you want to donate something other than that there is a fundraiser page on Facebook if you would like to donate and I will link that down below if I can get it to get the link to put on here and uh, um, I'll have footage from throughout the day of us at church you know so but I will see y'all in a little bit guys I gotta finish getting ready and then head on out so